All right, this morning, uh, you know, we're going to continue our election coverage for you. Take a closer look at the U.S. House District 2 race. A big win for former Knox County Mayor Tim Burchett. I say former, he's still got about a month to go here. As we've been telling you, Burchett winning the Republican primary with 48% of the vote. Jimmy Matlock with 36%. Matter of fact, we're joined now by Tim Burchett this morning to talk about last night. First of all, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, now everything shifts I to November. Yes, to the fist bump. Yes, the fist bump. That's right. There you go. Uh, everything shifts now to November. So now your thoughts uh, on this, uh, on, on, you know, what you got coming up here. You and Renee Hoyos will be battling it out as you head down the sure. stretch now. Nothing really changes as far as my style of campaigning. Mm -hmm. I'll be out today knocking on doors, and uh, I would have the opportunity to represent seven counties, and my, my phone keeps going off. Um, <laughs> and so, I, I, but it's just, um, you know, it, campaigning to me is, um, I mean, it is a one-on-one -on -one kind of thing. And, and that's why I don't think people understand folks like myself. I get outspent, but I'll never get outworked. And I've had some great volunteers and folks in our campaign. Really, last night was more about them than it was about me. Has this been different than when you ran for mayor? Is, is it a totally, or, or is it very, very similar? Well, I, yeah. Obviously, the area is bigger, but. Yeah, you, when you see it. Your phone goes off and it has a Washington D.C. prefix mm -hmm, or mm -hmm. some advisor or somebody trying to get you to work for them, and you know, and, and uh, I've said one time, all politics is local, and it really is. You know, those folks. I'm, I'm sure that the way they did it up in Virginia and Washington D.C. is it works well for them, but it's not my style. Sure, and, you know. Got to ask you this last night. Well, I know we talked to you, and uh, you mentioned uh, shenanigans free. That's what you're going to try to bring to Washington if you're elected. Yeah. Kind of talk about that a little bit. Well, I think people are just fed up, and uh, I think that's why maybe folks like myself are, are sort of appealing, mm -hmm. um, is because we, uh, you know, I say what I mean, and I mean what I say. I, I said when I took office, I wasn't going to raise taxes, and Dad Gummon, I didn't raise taxes. I said when we started this campaign, we weren't going to go negative. All the all the advisors, all my people. Right. And, you know, the local people didn't even try to force me on it. They suggested it, but we didn't go negative. And I'll tell you, I'll give you a, a reason why, and it, it comes down to really the local level. I've been blessed with a wonderful wife um, who got up this morning and fixed me coffee <laughs> and uh, an incredible daughter. And uh, and I was uh, and Isabel's our daughter, and I said to her, I said, baby, I said, and we'd, I'd already said we weren't going to go negative. I said, what do you think about going negative? And she said, what's that, Dad? And I explained it to her. Right. And, Remember, she was in bed getting ready to go to sleep, and she said, Daddy, you need to be the man that people believe you are. And I thought, wow, an 11 year old little girl says mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. God has given me an incredible gift in my family, and, and I, I couldn't be more blessed with the wife sure. and daughter I have. Well, let me ask you this tonight. We've got to wrap up here, right. but real quick, I know Glenn Jacobs is pushing me a little faster. No. <laughs> the, uh, you're not running for Congress here, and you're cutting me off. No, but just, well, that's what they're saying in my ear. Uh, I know, dude, but, 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 I Glenn, know but Glenn Jacobs uh, obviously went in last night. Real quick, transition. You've still got about a month left here, so you'll sure. be working hand in hand with sure. him, I'm assuming. Yeah, Glenn okay. and I have been meeting closely together uh, a lot. He's, okay. He understands the, the finances and the workings of the Mm -hmm. of county government and I think he's going to do an excellent job. I look forward to that and we're meeting. We'll, we'll talk today, today, but I think we're having lunch first of the week. All right. We well, appreciate you stopping Thank by you, this morning. You know, Tersha never would rush me like this. I know she wouldn't. I know you're going to hold this over my head now forever. I appreciate you, though, coming you, by. Brother. All right, good to see you. <laughs> Let's uh, go back over to the Tirsa. <laughs> Thank you for not calling me Tersha. Sorry. <laughs> it's a special name. All right, time right now, 620.